A sewer Zan Sabani told Loreno much about Ashley and her beliefs and culture. These insights will prove useful to Caius and the Blades. Still, Loreno feels he is left in the dark about his mission here. He finds himself immersed in Dunmary culture, a culture he wishes to be welcomed into. Yet he continues to help Caius on his mysterious quest for the Emperor. Loreno feels divided as his freedom was granted to him by the Emperor, but all that he wants is to join his brethren, not as an outcast, but as an honorable pilgrim who lost his way and wishes to rejoin his ancestors in Resdane. And with that, folks, I'd like to welcome you back on the journey of Lorena Randevi and Morrowind. Welcome back to the Morrowind Let's Play, Part 22. Hey, folks. Welcome back. So, uh, I forgot to include this in the last episode, but, uh, Tarion, if you folks remember him, he was the dude who got kicked out of the Mage's Guild for stealing ingredients to feed his family. I, uh, talked to... Edwin and Edwina about it and everything, and he, he got accepted back in, I've right? Better things to do, so and, uh, I think this is part of the... I know, sh shush, please. <laughs> He's part of the, uh, less generic NPCs pack, I believe, so he will actually go gather ingredients for me now, which is really cool. Um, whenever I come back in town again, I'll be able to talk to him, and he should be able to actually harvest stuff for me, which is awesome, because he's getting extra duties from the Mage's Guild, so those extra duties are to brew potions, but then Edwina also recommended to him, hey, why don't you go collect ingredients too and sell them, right? And we'll tell you what the good ingredients are, so you can make a profit. And he was like, oh, really? That's that's awesome. Um, and he was really thankful for of me helping him, so he's gonna, if I'm ever in town again, I can talk to him and send him out to gather some stuff and I assume I'd probably like wait a day after that and we'll get some more but uh yeah so we're gonna head back to Hello. Balmora I hope you won't take too much <laughs> everybody's talking to my ear uh we're gonna head back down to Balmora and we're gonna deliver the notes from Hasor Zan BB Bomb boo, 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 whatever his last name was to uh to him about the Ashlanders and see what he has next for me and I'll catch you folks there also, can we just take a second to appreciate some of the aspects in this game? Like, I know I have higher render distance, but just this light fog going on here, the sounds of the Silt Strider in the background, and just the way the Ashlands, these valleys over here look, it's very, very nice with the dead trees on the side there going into the uh, plains over there with Caldera. I really, really enjoy it. What is this? I'm just uh, coming up over the hill, and there's a dead Khajiit with some notes. And a lot of skooma. What's what's going on with you, bud? He's got a skooma pipe. And smoking the legal narcotic. He's got some moon sugar. We're heading back to Balmora. I'm pretty sure I can sell all this to other. Uh, skooma here! Skooma there! Skooma everywhere! Yeah, it uh, doesn't look like that turned out too well for you, bud. Ooh, that's not fun. Uh, maybe utilized in place of an Alembic by Desperate Alchemist. Oh my, I didn't know that. That's crazy. Alright, let's, uh, let's take a skooma. And we will, uh, go sell that to the Khajiit in town. I found a little cave back here. Shushishi. Shushishi. You don't look like a slave. Are you? What do you want? Apparently heirlooms. Heirlooms? Ah! Rohazir has found plenty of heirlooms. They seem to have just fallen into his pockets. In fact, Rosier found the new, new pieces earlier today. Took them from some Nord woman. Cried like a baby, she did. Oh, my precious jewelry. You met her, huh? What has that got to do with me? Rosier is in this for the cash, not some ridiculous sentiment. No more say to you, unless you have the better offer. Um. You know what? Yeah, I'll bring him back if you give me half. Hmm, an interesting bargain. If the woman pays you what she says, that would be a great deal, better than what Dorazir can get for them from your associates. Sounds like a fair deal. Friend, make sure you come back with my share, though. Dorazir is trying to be happy if he's not he's been cheated. Okay. Awesome. So, Dorazir is a Khajiit man who stole some stuff from a woman. A Nord woman. In, uh... Right outside of Caldera. And I told her no. And I guess I just happened to find this place by myself. Got a little corner in the back with some loot. What is this? We got a storm helm. Imperia's Imperial Newt Square scale cuirass. What does my armor do? I'm rating eight. Well, this is actually better. So we made it back to Balmora. I just uh, intervention to the temple up there. I'm just gonna walk around, uh, try to sell some stuff, get some sleep, and I'll uh, I'll get back to you folks at Caius. 
Looks like I had another dream again. In your dreams, tall figure in a golden mask spoke to you. Lord Nerevar Inderil, High Resdania, long forgotten, forged anew. Three bellied you, three betrayed you. One you betrayed was three times true. Lord Vorin Dagoth, Dagoth Ur, steadfast liegeman, faithful friend, bids you come and climb Red Mountain. Beneath Red Mountain once again, break your bonds, shed cursed skin, and purge the Enwa from Morrowind. Hmm. Peculiar. So the, I'm pretty sure if I read that right, that was the, uh, yeah, the Golden Mask Man specifically addressed me as Lord Nerevar Inderil. Interesting, and I'm guessing he's addre I'm guessing he just addressed himself as Lord Vorin Dagoth, his liegeman. Huh. Interesting. We'll see where that leads. All right, let's get into Caius's house. Hey, Caius, man, you just never sleep, do you? You seem like very it's, good it's company. It's like two in the morning. All right. Uh, yeah, I got some. I got some notes for you, bud. Thanks for your report, but keep Zansabani's notes on the Ashlanders. You'll need them. I'm promoting you and sending you to the Ushalaku camp to speak to Sulmatul and Nabini Mesa. But before you go, I think it may be time to tell you what's going on. The Emperor and his advisors think you have the appearance of meeting the conditions of the Nervarine prophecies. That's why you were pulled out of prison on His Majesty's authority and sent to me, so you could satisfy the conditions of the Nervarine prophecies and become the Nervarine. Here, this is a decoded copy of the coded package you gave me when you arrived. Read it later, it should explain everything. As you'll see in the decoded message, the Emperor and his counselors say that you have the appearance of satisfying the conditions of the prophecy. Do you really satisfy the potion? Are you really the, prophesi the prophesized Nervarine? At first, I thought you were just supposed to be a, pers a persuasive imp imposter. Now I don't know what to think. But I am sure of one thing. This is not just primitive superstition, and we will treat it seriously, just as His Majesty, Majesty commands. So, Zansabapi says that Solmatul and Nabani Mesa, or at... Urshulaku camp are the heads of the Nervarine cult, so I'm sending you to speak with them. Tell them your story and have them test you against the Nervarine prophecies. As the heads of the Nervarine cult, they can judge they can best judge whether you satisfy the prophecies. When you have spoken to me, report back to me. Here's two hundred drakes for expenses and pick up essential supplies at Fort Moonmoth. Oh my Okay. <laughs> so that's why I'm here. I had no idea about that. I mean I like I know the main character is supposed to be the Nervarine, but I didn't know that the Emperor... I never knew why he was sent here. Like, just... Mm, yeah, it's just ran a prisoner here. I guess the Emperor... The Emperor believes in these prophecies. That's really interesting. The package you gave me described the prophecies' conditions, and you seem to match them. An orphan and outcast. A youth born on a certain day under uncertain parents. Standard vague prophecy stuff. I can see how it would be nice to have a Nervarine in our pocket. Just in case. But the Emperor and his advisors seem to think the prophecy is genuine. Whatever a genuine prophecy is, and we're going to take it seriously, aren't we, Lorena and Devi? The Emperor and his council say you have the appearance of satisfying the conditions of the Nervarine prophecy. I'm still skeptical, but it's hard to believe it this is all just coincidence and uh Urshilaku it lies close to the sea of ghosts north of the village of Margon on this northern coast of Vardenfell the fastest smartest way to reach Margon is to take a silt strider from Balmora to Alderun and from Alderun to Margon in Margon you can meet a scout named Lenotatus at Margon outpost she'll be able to tell you how to reach your Sri Lanka okay Nuleno Tetas all right and is there anything else yeah, what's this about essential supplies? Before you go to Urshalaku Camp, see Somatus Venus and Cruluius Plantanian at Four Moon Moth. I've asked them to put aside some potions and scrolls for you, courtesy of the Emperor. And particularly, you'll, you'll want the cure potions. I hear the blight is very bad up north. And use the Divine Intervention Scroll if you find it yourself in over your head. It will get you to a safe Imperial Cult Shrine, where you can heal, refit, and try again. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. And... Okay. So that's, uh, that's, that's freaking crazy. Um, since we're out of the house, let's, uh, let's talk about this. Maybe, uh, out of the public street. Let's go up here. But, uh, yeah. Um, that's, that's a lot to take in. It is very interesting that knowing the Nervarian prophecies about a man, you know, born under moon and star, or, or you know, a friend of moon and star, under moon and star however it goes he's part of the dunmary he's part of the ashlanders and they're supposed to protect the lands and drive out the outsiders and the outcasts and everything like that so it's interesting that the empire would want me in their pocket like 
If I am the Nerevarine and how the prophecy goes, isn't my duty to get rid of the Empire if they are in Vardenfell, Resdane, Morrowind? Interesting. We'll see how that goes. But anyways, we're going to do something a little bit different, though, than just going straight up to the camp. Let's uh, do some more and more like Tong work and check out Vivek again. Hey, guys, I know this is a bit of a change right here. I don't know what's been going on, but it looks like my recordings keep getting messed up because I clicked record like three times and even checked OBS if it was recording. And we got to use Feather real quick. But we're in the FNEM. We're in the FNEM ancestral tomb that's underneath the... Uh, Fort Raduni or whatever next to a uh, Pelagiad and there was this big locked door here trap door and there's a bunch of skeletons behind it and I killed a lot of them and I came back because I realized the recording wasn't going yeah let's uh let's get back in here and keep fighting <laughs> What are they doing down there? Are they charging him up? What are you, dude? Oh, you got so much health. He's almost down, dude. Just die already. Ooh, we got him. <laughs> that was intense. What does this guy have on? Ward of Nem, Scourge of the Living Dead. It's a long blade. Demoralize humanoid, absorb health. Those are pretty good. They're heavy as heck, though. We're going to have to uh, feather ourselves. That was intense. <laughs> I am not going to lie. That was intense. Alright, so is there anything else going on down here? Cool, so what's back here? After all that fighting, as I can't move again. <laughs> what, was that, what was all this for? Tome of Conjuration. Fortify Conjuration 10 points for that many seconds. This book is much heavier than it looks. Reading it, you find there'll be somewhat confusing details revealing the inner workings. We got a limeware platter. Summon Golden Saint. That's fun. We got a grand soul gem. That's real good. Greater soul gem. Intelligence. Limeware cup. And 100 gold. Five. One. A chest. With a whole bunch of potions in it. And another 200 gold. Nice potion. Ring. And uh... Where are we? There we are. Silver saber. Ton of money. We're just poisoned. Dude, this place was freaking hard. I was not expecting that. Not one bit. That was fun, though. That was incredibly difficult, though, but that was very fun. Now we gotta get out of here, which is a whole nother part of it. <laughs> I'll see you folks outside. Okay, so we're in a spot where oh, I have not been yet. That is not what I tried to do. Game, why you do these things? I was trying to do this. So okay, we're in a spot where I haven't been yet. There's this little door. Let's uh let's see what's inside here. Let's uh let's drop some things out here. Okay, we got a whole stack of stuff right here. Again, I'm going to save to make sure nothing goes away. And uh, I was looking at it too. So these tomes, they last for a thousand in-game hours. So it's basically just a permanent skill boost. Oh wait, cast once. So I have to go to Tome of Conjuration. And it's used. And then if I look up here, maybe it'll have that fortify skill. Yeah, Conjuration. Look at that. That's cool.
Come on. You can die, dude. You can die. Don't be shy. Come on, you're almost dead. Don't try to summon stuff on me. There we go. Okay. Lich Priest Killam. Let's, uh, let's take a look around here. Bone Cage. Oh, summon a Bone Lord on self. That's pretty cool. And yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to mark here. And I'm going to leave my stuff down here. And then go sell it all. And I'll come back. Alright, we're in uh, Caius' house now. I was able to use um, CV Intervention. And teleport back to Balmora. And uh, we're going to keep everything right here just for now. Hopefully there'll be a house nearby that'll open up soon for, you know, unknown causes. Um, and we're going to go get our stuff repaired, which will be very expensive. This is unexpected. Things and good wishes to you, friend. Now you die! Surrender your life to me and I will end your pain! Oh my god. Okay. Hey folks. Uh, we just went to bed. Inside of the uh, Mages Guild, mind you, and I said, you hear a loud noise, and I had no idea what that meant, but I guess there was an assassin sent here. <laughs> that was, uh, that was intense. Oh, this armor is way better. Third Brotherhood helm. I'm not gonna put on that helmet. I like mine. But, uh, nice. Light armor. I don't need the boiled netch stuff, but I can put on this stuff. Should be very nice. Natural leather greaves. What are my pants? Chitin greaves, nine. This is five. Okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> that was, uh, that, that was very strange. We got some cool new gloves now, though. What do I look like if I, uh, take off my robe? That's not bad. It's kind of fun. Nice. That's some better armor, though. That was a very close fight. <laughs> and I think that may have just wakened me up in the middle of the night. Yeah, so we're gonna rest again. Cool, I'm, I'm just gonna finish selling some stuff and sorting some other stuff out. Alright, we're just outside of uh, Outpost Rainius. This is where the entire dungeon was underneath, which is crazy. That's probably why it was uh, overrun by skeletons, is there was that huge dungeon underneath and they didn't know. Just next to a Plagiad. Okay, we're gonna get to Vivek now. Alright folks, so we are just coming up on Vivek City. And the things we gotta do here is we're gonna go talk to the Morag Tong and let the guy know that I did that quest that Mephala beset him with to kill the uh, guild member's brother who had left and started killing on his own volition and then we also have to go find dram barrow who i believe is around the olms canton about the uh, ebony mine so we can talk to him about that all right so we're back in the morag tong area and i think it was this guy yes i'm here to talk about those sensitive matters well done mafala wishes just to speak to you directly this is great honor approach her altar okay altar to mafala you have done well mortal there are some things that must be done to preserve the order, and it will be amusing for me when this business comes to light. I look forward to it. Take this ring, mortal. Through the brightest day, it will carry you with speed and stealth. Leave me now. 
<laughs> okay. Cool. So, I believe we just got a Daedric Artifact. Ring of Khajiiti. Fortify speed. And invisibility for 15 seconds. That's not, <laughs> that is not that good of a Daedric Artifact. Ring of Khajiiti is said to have been stolen right off the armor of the Prince of Regine, the legendary thief god of the people of the peoples of elsewhere. Granting invisibility and greater speed, the ring served to make him the greatest burglar in their history until he was abandoned by it. Huh. Okay. But it's just, it would be cool if it was a constant effect of like speed plus 20. And the invisibility would be like a side effect, but I, I get that's not how it works. And, okay, I mean, you can get 150 uses out of it in an, a charge, which isn't bad, but still. How long does the, uh, oh, it's only for 30 seconds though. Alright, I'm just gonna check around and make sure there's no other duties I need to do. Okay, so we're heading into the St. Olm's Cathedral, St. Olm's Cathedral, St. Olm's Canton, that's what I'm trying to say. And uh, we're going to be looking for Drambaro, and I've heard he hides out, and I'm pretty sure it's not St. Dylan, I'm pretty sure it's St. Olm's, that he's a uh, bit of a recluse, so we might have to look around a bit for him. I'll see if I can uh, find anything. I'll get back to you folks. Okay, so we're in the Plaza District, and there's a haunted manor. So I imagine if this dude would be anywhere, it'd most likely be here. Yeah, I mean the bed's even owned. I bet he's in here. Let's uh get my lock breaker out. Nice. Is there any ghosts in here? Oh no. Guarding the bold. Who are you? I am guarding the bull, Drambaro's bodyguard. If you're not from the Morag Tong, or if you're from the Morag Tong, you'll die. Drambaro's my boss. You want to talk business? Talk to him. And bodyguard. Simple as that. All right. Is this uh? Oh, there's Dram. Hello. I take precautions to ensure that I'm not found easily. I see. I will have to take more precautions. But what can I do for you? Um, you're on business. No, I am here about the uh, mine. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I'm here about the uh, Vizier Dedant mine. The mine of Vizier Dedant has been lost for many years. Would you perhaps know the location of this mine? Yes, yes I do. So, that is technically not in my juris jurisdiction, but I can still make use of the knowledge. I feel you deserve some compensation. What type of weapon do you use? Oh, he's going to give me a weapon. I use spears. It just so happens that I have a Daedric Spear. No finer spear can be found in all in Vardenfell, I assure you. What? I was... What? What the hell? Among the most rare and valuable treasures of Tamriel, Daedric Spears are crafted from raw ebony, refined by the ritual binding of a Daedric Vistage to its shape. The weapon's power being directly enhanced by the prolonged suffering of the rage of the Daedroth now dwelling within. Oh my god, okay cool <laughs> that was uh surprising jesus why did i say my armor change when i did that that was weird okay i am more than happy with that so let's look at this oh, it looks kind of cool i don't like the wooden staff on it that's kind of lame it's got a daedric grip though that looks neat i was not expecting that at all holy jesus okay well, uh, I guess that's that's what I get for defeating one flame atronach and finding a little mine in the early part of the game. I guess it's pretty hard to find who to turn into. But uh, I think with that, we're going to call the episode. Um, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do next episode next. Maybe we'll take a look around uh, the this side of the area near Saran. Because I know I have a few things I need. Oh, and there's new stuff. So we could do some mage guild stuff and check around Saran and do some temple stuff. So that should be fun. I've got some stuff to do on the... Uh, east side of the island but yeah anyways folks thanks for watching as always i uh really appreciate it <laughs> put my hands down i really appreciate it this episode i know is a bit all over the place and I mean, that's part of the game though is you find a dungeon that's just like oh i'm just gonna do a little dungeon real quick we'll walk into the next area and it turns out to be this huge area with crazy bosses and stuff i don't know if that's part of the base game or if the less generic npcs but i think it's just part of the base game anyways folks Thanks again for watching. If you could leave a like, subscribe, dislike, comment, whatever it is. I like to hear your feedback, and I want to keep making as good as videos as I can for you folks. But anyways, without further ado, bye-bye.